Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be an Aquarius uh, Sun, Moon and as well Rising. A weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 22nd, uh, 27th, excuse me, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we're gonna jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Aquarius for the week October 21st to 27th is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week guys, that is going to be the Three of Swords. The third card stands for the positive aspect of the week for you, we do have the Two of Wands and then the last one refers to the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you here with and that is uh, represented by the Four of Pentacles. Alright, quite of a... Um, quite of an, an interesting reading, uh, it is what we do have here for you Aquarius. Alright, so uh, Ten of Pentacles is going to be catalyzed by the Three of Cups so i don't know how to do how to explain it it's pretty clear into my head but i don't want to get the message wrong or to kind of like pass the message in the wrong way to you so first of all we do have an, any passive friends here and these two cards are strongly suggesting of a um, of a return a return of a person that's betrayed you in any way or simply the things didn't work out in between you two either regarding career or either regarding relationship it doesn't really matter here i mean that return of this person this time around is going to be marked by a cumulative vision what i mean it is that back in the days um you most likely parted ways because you had one vision of a business, for example, and that person had another vision of a business, or this person had an, a one vision of a relationship, you do had another vision of a relationship, and just there were a, a mismatching of visions. Now, this time around, as that person returns to your life, now the visions are matching, and that in, implements a, a strong sense of, I would say, sovereignty and independence here, uh, and I'm coming to this it is because you are not going to feel like you have to play by certain rules that you despite so you can sustain things that you do want. This time around, it looks like that uh, the future of this cooperation should, should you decide to go down that road of uh, this uh, cooperation is going to be a, a completely marked by a... Um, complete uh, 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 complete expectations of what is to come it is because it's, it completely matches once again with your vision now these two cards here are talking about um, like said a 
very productive, fruitful, and as well a long-term cooperation should you, should you decide to go down that road. And within this cooperation, not just only the vision is going to be shared in between you two, but also the emotional state in between you two is going to be remarkably similar. That being said, if you still love this person, that person still loves you, you know, if you still kind of like a, uh, feel that this is your um, successful business partner, then that person feels the same way to you. So it's kind of like we do have a shared emotion, emotions in this particular uh, in this particular stage. Now, important thing here to be said as well is that um, the results of such cooperation are going to follow up rather quickly. I mean, the initial results. So you are to, to see that actually giving up a second chance because in the next card word, so we are going to talk about second chances here. Uh, it's actually yielding up results quite, quite fast. And those results are going to be um, pretty much dwarfed by the... Uh, by the aspect or rather like by the overview of the of the results of the grant achievement here when you finalize you know that cooperation being for example marrying for your ex-boyfriend or let's say or establishing consortium with your previous business partner and so on and so forth take it that way you are now once you start doing this cooperation you're not only going to uh feel the the small portion of what can be in the future should you proceed on doing uh, in this, uh, should you proceed on going into that direction. Additionally to that, it does look like that the week is going to be a, a quite warm for you. What I mean is that it is quite unlikely people to give you a rough time and uh, more or less there are to be those who will want to help you with your endeavors should you need help or not. Advisable here for you, Sagittarius, um, Aquarius is to spend time with people that you feel close to your heart, people that actually are on the same page with you. So uh, next card, it, rega it regards to the challenges and we do have the tree of um, swords accompanied with the tree of wands. Quite of a challenge and I said about second chances, but here we are talking about for two additional things. On top of that, you have to give a second chance to this person. You need to find the strength to forgive not only to him, but also or to them or but, but also to yourself and as well to find the mental strength or kind of like to draw upon the mental strength to find that actually this time the thing is going to work out. Another thing, I mean enterprise, either a business or a relationship-wise kind of enterprise. <clears throat> because for what it seems with these two cards, you both have learned your lessons back in the days. Maybe at that time, back in the days, you didn't have a clear concept of what you want. Maybe you were just wanting to enjoy life as life is. You know, maybe you were a bit, un uh, a bit detached from what is to happen in between you two. That doesn't matter right now. It does look like that you both have matured. And for that reason... <clears throat> Even though back in the days things didn't work out in between you two, either in a romantic relationship, business endeavor, friendship, enterprise, and so on and so forth, this time around it looks like that you both are having all prerequisites, you know, to make the thing work. And it's going to happen with ease once again. I mean, you don't have to kind of like um, uh, lift up mountains in order to, uh, in order to achieve this uh, this goal of yours. Now with these two cards as they are in an uh, active um, <clears throat> active friends, the biggest challenge is going to be the clamor that uh, this person deserves a, a second chance or rather like the determination, I don't know how to say it in English, you know, but maybe you Aquarius are, uh, are finding yourself one of these people saying that, you know, uh, when you are over with something, I, it never comes back. I have met so much women of that particular state where they say, once I end up a relationship, there is no chance I'm going to have the same rela the, a relationship with this person, you know. But if you are such a person, that is going to be the biggest challenge for you throughout this week. 
And once again, it is up to you should you decide to give a second chance or not, should you find the strength to forgive and should you find the determination within yourself to kind of believe that this time around, actually the thing can work out. So the next card refers to the positive aspect here and we do have the two of wands accompanied by the six of swords. <clears throat> These two cards are also appearing as a uh, active friends in this particular case. And what we do have, it is um, here the vision. The vision that actually with this cooperation with that person that comes back into your life, you know, it is uh, the, the, that cooperation is exactly what you need or rather like uh, what you can have. I don't know how to say it. Well, let's say that you do see the potential in it or you are going to see the potential in it. And the only, uh, the only thing that can make you decline it, it's your stubbornness for once. And from another, it is still the sense of insecurity that you may have. Saying to yourself, well, back in the days, we couldn't make it. So... Even though you have may learned our lesson, I still this sense of failure lingers within myself or within me or within them or whatever, you know, and <clears throat> that sense could be exactly the reason why we may not be able to make it this time around. What I mean here is that <clears throat> you may experience a little bit of a fear to, uh, to give it another go. But should you stop for a while, you know, and think of uh, the the means needed, for example, or what is the worst thing possible that can happen out of it if this thing doesn't work out in between you two, you are to understand that there is nothing for you to be afraid of. As a matter of fact, you are to understand that right now you are sitting on a pretty good position in regards to this person that comes again into your life and in regards to everything that concerns your life in general. And right now you, you, you do need something new, you know, you do need kind of like a new field for yourself to grow in. <clears throat> and uh, one of these fields, it is that um, it is that person that come around. Additionally to that, uh, it does look like that once you start tackle with them, you are gonna make it pretty clear what you are expecting, what your expectations are, which is going to play a, a major role into the positive and efficient, you know, development of this. Um, of this enterprise that you can have in between you two. Take it that you are going to be the um, the general, the peacemaker, I don't know how to say it, the one who dictates or rather like how display, uh, who displays, you know, how the things should proceed from now on. And it does look like that uh, in one or another way, this person is going to agree with it. It's not gonna be very hard because once again, we said that you are gonna share a very very similar vision in between each other and the last card that we do have for you guys that is going to be the uh, guidance the tower is offering we do have the four of pentacles here with the king of cups a passive friend is what we do have at this particular point uh, at this particular position and these two cards are saying that this week is going to be the week where you need to ensure your secure future how, once again, like said, displaying what your expectations are toward this person that comes around. And you need to be reasonable. This is what these two cards here are saying. And under reasonable, I mean that you should not make that person pay for the... Um, for what happened back in the days. It's kind of like starting all anew, stepping on the foundation that you have built up on, up until this moment and their foundation that they have built up, up up until this moment. Additionally to that, should this be in regards to emotional uh, satisfaction, what I mean relationship wise, um, you should, with these two cards, you should be a little bit defensive about what you do have in between each other for one or another reason, the reason may display itself uh, further down the road into the future. But what these two cards here are pointing is that you need to be defensive about your emotions or about what you have with someone and only show it to this someone, only show it to those who are or to the one who is worthy or whom those emotions are meant to go for. Okay. And uh, lastly, it is how you are going to see their wish and determination to be around you and to try again. It is that this person will try to do whatever they can 
to become a part of your life throughout this week, October 21st to October 27th, 2019, either through helping you, proposing you certain things, giving you gifts, and so on and so forth. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.